conditionals if statements. So the flow of the if statements using the flow chart is we have here the diamond symbol is used to represent condition and if the condition is true then if code will be performed and if the statement also or if the condition will yield false then this code here will be the one to be performed so um either of the two code would only be performed we have an example so if age is lesser than 21 then this statement will be performed or will be displayed and if this statement is false then this one will be the one to be executed so not the two statement will displayed rather it would only choose which one will be displayed or which one will be performed depending on the result or the value of this condition. So let us try it in the Eclipse environment. So we have in this example, um, that's just a sample that we have shown a while ago so here we have age age is an input from the user and we evaluate the input from the user so whatever be the input of the user it will be evaluated if it is lesser than 21 if it is lesser than 21 then whatever is the code inside of this open and close uh, curly brace will be the one to be executed. So here we have, it will print how about some milk if age is lesser than 21. In other words, if age is greater than 21, then the statement that goes how about some beer will be the one that will be displayed in the program. So again, if this statement is true, this one will be performed if this statement is false then this one will be performed there you have how old are you let's say for example i will put now 35 so 35 is obviously greater than 21 it follows that the word how about some beer will be displayed there you have how about some beer let's say for example i would ask another one and we will try this time strike 12 so 12 is our value of age and age is evaluated if it is greater than or lesser lesser than 21 so if it's lesser than 21 12 is lesser than 21 therefore this statement will be displayed there you have how about some milk? Another example here, we will mark this one as our example number two. So we'll just try to mark it as example number two under if statement. So here we have, um, it's just a continuation of what we had a while ago and still it will ask an input from the user how old are you and the input will be stored into each variable and the in the instruction is read out from that of the in which is a scanner and next in as an integer input now this time we make use of the logical operator and in which it will evaluate that if this statement is true and this statement is true then it should be a true statement therefore that what is inside will be performed or what is in what's the block that follows after the statement will be performed but if one of the statement one of the condition will f will yield false therefore this series of this block of codes here Will not be performed because it's the nature of the logical and operator that the two conditions should be true to come up with a true and to, to come up with a true statement so we have uh, we will input the value we will input the value of our age and it will evaluate if age is greater than 40 and if it is lesser than 60 so if it will be within the range then the message you are middle age 
and you are not young you are not old will be the one that will display so we have suppose I have inputted for example 45 so 45 is greater than 40 and 45 is lesser than 60 so that makes the two statement true therefore it's true then this series of instruction will be displayed so there you have as you can see the message you are middle aged and you are not young you are not old display is displayed so if i would display now if i would input now a value of age that is um lesser than 40 having an input of age that's lesser than 40 makes already this statement false so if this is already false then the whole thing will no longer be performed because when you say logical operators and it should be that the two statements should be true to come up or to get now a result of whatever is inside of this block so we have if I would input now 35, and 35 is lesser than 40, so that makes now this statement, this condition false. So with that, it will not display anything. So as you can see, it's just blinking, waiting to, it does not display anything. Now, I don't have here else statement. So for Java, else is just an option else will just be an option but you are also have the the style not to put else in your code and still it's still functional it's still running so that's an example of a logical operator and a relational operators use an if statement having no else in a code But here, um, a while ago, we did not um, put now else statement because else is just optional, meaning still your program can work without the presence of else. But it's also good to put now else statement so that it will give now instruction what will be done if ever that the statement is not true, meaning what will the system do if it will yield now a false statement false condition so here if it's not true therefore it will print out the message you are not middle-aged and you are either young or old that means if i would input 35 and 35 is obviously not greater than 40 and i will no longer evaluate the second condition because once the, the statement first condition is false then the whole thing has already been false now because when you say oh, logical and it should be that the two conditions should be true to come up or to perform this series of instruction so with that 35 is lesser than 40 and that makes the first condition false therefore this one will be the thing to be executed or performed so there you have you are not middle age you are either young or old the one that we had a while ago is that we did not put else believe uh, knowing that else is just an option but when when we had our output display when we input 35 it does not do anything also it does not display also anything so therefore it's also good to put now an instruction as to what would be the system will be doing once the statement is false this is the flowchart of a nested if so with nested if you can define multiple conditions and series of if statements so we have if condition one your first if statement and then if it's true then you will proceed to another condition if condition two and then if it's false then body of of else uh, condition two if it is true then it will proceed to body of nested if condition one condition one this one and if it's the condition one is false then body of condition one body of else condition one and statement after if so when you say nested if it's a series or uh, a series of if else statement wherein there 
you can find you can define multiple or series of if statement so let us have an example in eclipse okay here we have an example of a nested if so if you could observe we ask an input from the user of age and then we evaluate if age is lesser than 18 this is the lesser than uh, relational operator so you have if lesser than 18 then you are going to display the message you are not an adult if lesser than 40 then you are going to display you are a young adult if lesser than 60 you are going to display you are middle aged and if not if not lesser than 18 not lesser than 40 and not lesser than 60 then you're going to display you are a senior citizen uh, this is the way you are going to create a nested if statement to lessen the uh, calling or use of a logical operator because in this kind of expression is that uh, you bounded already the input such that if it's lesser than 18 then this will one this will be the one that will dis display if the value is lesser than 40 and not and up to 18 that's 18 then it will display young adults so from 18 to 40 this will be the one that will display it will display you are a young adult if it is from 40 to 60 then you are going to display the message you are a middle agent okay so let us see so if i would input now 18 18 will be part here that's you are a young adult you are a young adult that's lesser than 40 up to 18 and if I'm going to input 17, of course, that would be you are not an adult. It will be categorized here. And if I'm going to input now 40, that would be, that would be, if it's 40, that would be you are a middle agent. Meaning, uh, from 40 to 60, you're going to display uh no from 40 to 40 59 you're going to display your middle age but 60 will go already to you are a senior citizen so from 40 to 59 you are a middle age will be the one that will display so we'll try 60 60 will be you are a senior citizen because 60 is no longer lesser than 60 it's equal to 60 and it's different from lesser than 60 because the value lesser than 60 is 59 so 60 is no longer qualified true to this statement therefore it will display you are a senior citizen there you have you are a senior citizen therefore the last value that will be identified as you are a middle aged will be 59 so if I would input 59, then you are a middle age. So this is an example of a nested if we're in. If it the value will be evaluated um, in each stage. So if this if it will not qualify to this one, then it will jump to the next line. If it will not qualify, if it's false then it will jump to the next line else this will be the one that will be displayed so let's say for example if this statement is true then this one will be displayed and the rest of the statement will no longer be read by the compiler so if the statement finds it this one as the true statement therefore this one will be the one that will be performed and it will not read out the rest of the line of the statement so it will only select to many of the definition or condition condition that you have set 
and will only display to what true statement that it will uh, result. So that's an example of a nested if statement.